Hello babes, so welcome back to my channel. Normally by this time, I already eat and I haven't yet. It's 10.25 right now and I have been eating at like 8, 9. But I've already gone for like a mini walk outside with her. I was doing a little bit of work early in the morning. Honestly, it's so like easy for me to just like order out in the morning, which I've been doing a lot. But I do have something that I want to try with you guys today that I've been thinking about. So we are back for another what eat in a day. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I do a ton of cooking in these videos, talk about weight loss, and just kind of share a ton of tips. Right now, I'm not like focusing on like losing a ton of weight just because I recently got a puppy and I'm trying to get a hold of my routine. And you guys will probably notice with the calories I put on screen, I just want to mention that they're going to be higher, especially for breakfast. But I like to pack a lot of my calories within the morning. This little nugget is not supposed to be in the kitchen. Right, mama? At least say hi if you're gonna come on camera. Yeah, we're gonna have a pretty heavy breakfast but I really need it I'm like starving at like 8 a.m. and keep in mind I'm a lot more active I'm running around a lot more now with her so my calories are also bumped up um, and my activity levels also bumped up too so that's why I'm able to eat a lot more if you guys don't really kind of understand how it works but all you have to do is just either cut the portion size if you kind of want to fit it into your calories daily if you want to eat what I'm eating in this video just either cut it in half a waffle breakfast sandwich this morning so if you can't do both waffles which yeah it is pretty high in calorie if you can't do that find a different alternative of a waffle or you guys can do half the size of what we're doing also i want to mention if you guys are not following me on ig it is at steph g Macedo. turn on the bell so you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos and make sure you guys subscribe if you are not let's get to the cooking because i am really hungry okay so first thing we're gonna do you're probably gonna hear some sizzling is add um, I think two strips of bacon will be good. This breakfast is gonna be like 800 calories plus like I'm not even joking you I'm trying to have some meat in my breakfast. Y'all hear that? Watch yourself. Use turkey bacon, use less bacon, cut it in half. Actually the two slices look good because then we can like break it up. We're gonna be toasting two of these guys, these Belgian waffles. I didn't want to get the like typical Eggle waffle ones because I wanted to make like a real waffle sandwich. It is a really good alternative because those are a lot less calories. One waffle is 220 calories, but we're trying to stay full for a really long time, you know? So this is, this is what we're gonna do. Plus, I've just been craving this. This is gonna be one hefty sandwich, but I'm here for it. This is the President's Choice, just original Belgian waffles. You can also have like one waffle on the side and do a full plate with like an egg and bacon. We're gonna be putting in some spinach just so that it's kind of like, oh, forgive me for having all the other bad stuff, but let me just put a few green leaves in there. I'm just joking. I'm putting spinach in there because it's good for you. So is the bacon. One thing I like to do, you guys, is take my excess oil out of the pan and what I like to do is honestly just grab a paper towel and just start like dabbing. I want to put my egg over here and I don't want like all this grease inside of there because that is where there's a lot of like excess calories. Yes. Oh my god I'm so excited for this sandwich because I've been really wanting this. I've only had this sandwich one time in Toronto at a restaurant and oh my god it was so fire so i'm so excited because i can't have egg without salt plate on this side get some more paper towel and take out our bacon i'm gonna put it on top of the paper towel and allow that oil to come out i'm gonna get started with my coffee i do have a starbucks blonde espresso capsule in here honestly my thoughts on the capsules i just personally feel like I don't know if I would buy them again. I feel like they taste different than actually going to Starbucks, whereas I could just use the espresso I got in the bag and just do the capsule myself. The other thing you can do with your cheese is kind of do half a slice if you want to, but I'm gonna be going all in. I'm just kind of breaking it up so that it's not like kind of getting all over the pan, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just a little, you know, a little perfectionist. So we're gonna let that melt. I'm actually gonna turn this off and you can actually put like a pot top on top of here so that it can start melting other thing I did you guys I put the bacon on top of the cheese that was melted because I feel like it's gonna help to make it stick actually you know what I want to put the spinach make sure your greens are sticking out so that if you're ever doing like any presentation showing it it will show and then we're gonna put this guy over top oh I was craving something just like this okay and then tomato slices so oh my god look at this Oh my god, this is bomb. Mmm. So I didn't toast the waffle too, like, 
too hard and toasty so that when you kind of bite into it it might kind of like crack apart oh my god this is so good you guys mmm I'm gonna go eat this up finish my coffee and we'll be back for lunchtime. Always drink water, you guys. Always, always, always. The past two days, I haven't been the greatest with my water. But what really helps me out is I have this guy behind me over here. And what I do is I always make sure, like, it was just empty. So I'm like, fill her up so that there's no excuse when you go over there. Because sometimes when it's empty, you're like, oh, God, I don't want to fill it up right now. You know what I mean? It's those little things sometimes where it can make you slip off. But I've been noticing, like, if I don't have my usual water, your skin is just not the same. At least mine, I have dry skin. But every time I drink my water, I just have a glow to me. Okay, babes, we are ready for lunch, and it's actually 1.30. We're going to be cooking lunch with HelloFresh, which you guys know is my fave. I love HelloFresh so much, especially right now for me. Oh, my God, I could use them so, so, so bad because everything just comes in one bag, you guys. I always get the package for two people, which lasts me a week, so if you think about it, you're growing groceries are completely done for an entire week you don't have to worry about your meals you don't have to worry about planning or anything or taking a trip to the grocery store honestly they're even more committed to creating super fresh food and really fresh meals safely delivered to your door and they have taken extra measures to keep their employees and their customers safe as well it's actually a lot safer to use a service like this they're also really flexible so you can change your delivery days your food preferences or you can skip a week at any given time and everything comes inside of your bag it's so convenient you guys everything is pre-measured pre-labeled for you and it just makes a lot less food waste while you guys are cooking each recipe is packed with a bunch of fresh produce that is directly from farmers and their meals are done in 30 minutes you guys but they also have their quick and easy meals which are done in 20 minutes every single week they change up their meals so it's never going to be boring you're always going to have something new to try they also have plans for every single person they have low cal low carb pescatarian vegetarian family plans so if you guys want to try out HelloFresh, i definitely recommend them if you guys are kind of bored of what to cook just stuck at what to do in the kitchen and you kind of want something new all you have to do is go to hellofresh.com use my promo code stephmacedo12 to get 12 free meals including free shipping if you've never tried them out before you have to give them a try at least one time but you're gonna see that it really helps out your lifestyle it just helps make things super easy and like i said they're flexible so if you guys want to skip a week or you guys want to try something else you're you're always able to do that I have actually been craving something like this I've made something a tiny bit similar but I did not use sugar peas like there's so or sugar sugar snappies if you've never tried before oh my god you've got to try it it's actually a really good snack too to dip inside of like ranch or any type of dip mmm they're so sweet like so sugary mmm love it what I've done is I've gone ahead and kind of cut up the carrots because I don't like when they're like too long and I've also chopped and halved and trim the little ends of the peas. I have a tablespoon of ginger that's really finely cut up. And I also have done the same thing to the garlic. Oh my god, this one's like... This one's extra sweet. I'm so dead. I'm like, this cannot be the sesame oil. No stuff. That would be the vegetarian oyster sauce. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I made a mistake because I kind of jumped ahead. That's why you're supposed to read this step by step. Steph is kind of funny that way where she just likes to... It doesn't really matter right <laughs> Oof, this oil is so fire so good mm. Ooh, that smells fire we are adding in our rice okay so in here we have our pork and only half of the ginger garlic sesame oil mixture that we had always love to use a utensil like this because you want to break up the ground pork really nicely so that you don't have chunks Okay, so now I've gone ahead and added our sugar snap peas with our carrots, the sauce, and also the leftover of the sesame oil mixture with the garlic and ginger. And then I put my um, pork off to the side and our rice is gonna be done in about like four minutes. Oh my God, guys, this looks so good. So I put the pork inside of here, the sauces and everything, and let it get more cooked. I've also added a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. And I'm actually gonna do a little taste test over here our rice at the bottom there and I have a whole other portion that I can have either later but I think I want to cook something else with you guys so I'll probably have that tomorrow and I feel like the best thing to serve this with is like a soup ladle because then you don't want to miss out on the sauces this dish has every single thing that I look for mm. beans are still crunchy which is very important I didn't want to overcook them because I like when they still have a crunch 
the jasmine rice is cooked to perfection every time they give instructions like if you're bad at rice you're not going to be bad at rice anymore i promise you like they tell you how to make it the meat is so good cooked perfectly too carrots still have a little bit of a crunch too actual taste and the flavor is so so good it's literally sweet and salty just packed into one dish there's just everything in here you know what i mean so again if you guys want to try them out go to hellofresh.com and use my code stephanie 12 to get 12 free meals including free shipping i probably look a mess in my makeup because my mask is probably like coming out but I just came back from the grocery store because I'm doing a little Easter dessert, not today, but I'll make your cracker cake, but make it like Easter kind of vibe. If you guys missed that recipe, go back to my Christmas videos and it'll be in the Christmas one because it shows me making it the night before. But guys, I couldn't find the Cadbury freaking um, eggs, but I ended up getting these guys, the PC ones. I mean, honestly, this is just for decoration. So I was going to put these little pastel eggs over top of the cracker cake so it's not going to mess up the cake. I hate when someone like adds things over like on top like any peppermint or anything like that on top of a cake I love because I'm like you just killed it. But these you can easily like remove you know what I mean? And actually Amy loves these. I think Jessica loves these and I think my mom does too so. Go get your bunny. Oh excuse me. Not her with the attitude. Oh please. You see the attitude? You know what she's saying, right? She's saying, watch yourself, mom. Don't tell me which bunny I can have. 5.25, I'm not hungry, so I feel like I'm going to be making or eating my dinner at least around like 7-ish. So, and I think we're going to be making my quesadilla because number one, it's so super quick. I got my Starbucks drink. This is not their um, sleeve thing, but I just had this so then I just put it on myself. I ended up getting my Starbucks string so that is also added calories that I have to add for the day. Kissy mommy. Oh my goodness. So what I have here is just some chicken breasts, two of them actually chopped up and I've kind of done them in like really thin slices. The other trick is you can also do this exact same like marinade but you can grill the chicken breast whole which is what I did last time and then put them inside of like a chopper or something or shred it. But you can just pre-chop it if you want to or do it that way. So with some chili powder, um, cumin, lots of garlic, black pepper. Gonna put some salt, spray some olive oil inside of here. And then we're just going to mix this all up. And then as you're mixing it, if it's not enough seasoning, you can just add some more. We like this to sit a little bit before we're going to be cooking so that things can kind of sit and marinate for a little bit. It's just always better. You can always do it on the, like, on the spot. But hello, guys. It is 7.30, and I'm going to be very honest with you. I ate almost the rest of the HelloFresh meal. Still going to make the chicken quesadillas with you guys because I don't want to not have like a third recipe to show you guys and what i'll do is tomorrow i can just easily warm it up and then it's like done i've added my chicken in here and i added a little bit like more spritz of olive oil the smaller your chicken pieces are i feel like you get more like the chicken gets spread easily inside of the quesadilla and you don't get little pockets of just bread when you're biting into it so i kind of like doing it the other way where you can put it inside of like a chopper um, or really kind of shredding it really thinly. I feel like that's the best way But yeah, I'm just kind of breaking it up a little bit more as I'm cooking it as well Okay, so our chicken is really nice and golden you guys So I also wanted to mention today. I did it fresh completely fresh But you can have a bunch of this chicken done up instead of a container And then if you want to make a quesadilla all you have to do is put a tortilla inside of your pan Put the chicken inside there, put the cheese, and it will all get warmed up as the tortilla is getting nice and golden. But that's how I usually do it on a normal basis, but I ran out of chicken, so I had to do it fresh today. So what I've done is I've put the chicken off to the side, and I've put one tortilla down on the pan. And I still have it on medium, and what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the chicken on top of here. But I'm going to do a half quesadilla, so you can use one tortilla, and that also will decrease your calories too. So let's say you still want to feel full, but... Maybe you want to split up your lunch so that you can like feel fuller. Um, if I'm really hungry and I want a full one, then obviously you would use two tortillas. So this is what it's going to look like. Obviously, I have used cheddar. I actually have white and yellow cheddar. You can use whichever. You can use just regular yellow cheddar. Your queso is basically your glue to a quesadilla or else if you don't have it, then it's going to come apart when you're eating it. So you do want to put a good amount. I know like calorie wise, but I feel like... 
which shredded cheese you can really kind of spread it out instead of slices so the next thing we're going to do is just flip this guy because this side's already starting to get golden but I'm going to do this with two hands and flip it over and make sure each side is nice and golden. I also wanted to show you guys that you can use this to kind of push it down and help melt the cheese. Because this is not going to take long at all um, because the stove was already really hot. Um, so yeah, you just, you just want to make sure that each side is really nice and golden just how you like it. You can also put a little extra oil if you want to on either side, like a few spritz. But yeah, I just do this and... And that's basically it. I usually put cilantro inside of the quesadilla. So once you have the cheese and stuff, sprinkle some cilantro if you like extra. We're going to be using some sour cream. This is not the low fat one. I love, love, love sour cream. Two tablespoons of this one is like 45 calories. So it's not bad. And then the other thing I love is this is actually a mix of pico de gallo and some like regular salsa. But I don't really like this pico de gallo to be honest with you. Um, because it's very weird like it's very vinegary but it's all they had so this is the actual salsa container but the pico de gallo was added into it but you can either make your own pico de gallo it's just you know sometimes it, it takes time and for me i was like i'm just gonna freaking buy it so i like a lot a lot a lot of salsa so i'm going to be putting i love that this is actually going to be ready for me tomorrow like i don't even have to do the plating i like to have these two sides how crispy this quesadilla is oh my god i almost burnt myself there because this is not easy to eat like this obviously i like to get a little pizza cutter let's get this out of the way or else i can just see it flying off the plate so i like to get a pizza cutter y'all hear that crunch oh look at that melted cheese oh watch yourself like i said you guys can do a full one if you want to um this is something i would have at like lunchtime but i didn't want to have a massive lunch and i had like a starbucks or something this is absolutely perfect so yeah hopefully you guys try out this meal that's basically it for my what i eat in a day i hope you guys enjoyed i know you guys love these videos so i try to do them as much as possible if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you do. Also, click the notification bell to get notified for all of my brand new videos on my channel so you guys don't miss them. And also, follow me on IG. It is at Steph G. Macedo. If you guys cook any of the recipes I showed you in today's video, make sure you guys tag me on IG because I always love seeing when you guys cook my recipes. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.